Welcome back guys. All right, so day two in this restore that we're doing in this MR2. So today's goal, as you guys remember from the last video, if you haven't watched it, go ahead and watch it. Um, but yeah, so we got everything dismantled as much as I could, moving stuff from the wall all around. Um, I taped stuff up. I mean, covered stuff, taped up. I fixed the, the wiring over there as well. Um, I didn't put that on video because I just took care of it, got that done. Um, so now what we gotta do, we gotta get this car outside and uh, pretty much start washing this engine bay. Get it as clean as we can. It's not gonna be perfect. Obviously it's not a show car, but we need to get a lot of this grime and dirt off and make it look a lot better than now. Let's do it. Car's outside. Um, I got my little electric pressure washer here. That was what we're gonna use. Um, I got um, palm olive degreaser in there and some engine degreaser. Should have bought more of that, but I didn't. Oh well. Um, so we're gonna start washing. I'm gonna hose it down first, the pressure washer. Then we're gonna degrease it and start scrubbing. Got all kinds of brushes and stuff to use. So let's get the sucker clean. So boom, just like that, back in the garage. I had to, <laughs> I had to uh, ask my cousin to come help me push it back up because obviously I can't start it because half of the engine is missing. But um, so yeah, we went ahead and washed it. Um, let's go over what I did. That way you guys will kind of understand because it was a lot of just time lapse. Sorry about the lighting and the position of the camera and all that is, is getting laid out and I can't find my tripod and I had like three of them. But anyways, so it's a little bit cleaner, obviously. You know, there's still some really stubborn dusty dirty stuff around here but we're not done yet okay we're still working on this whole detailing process and uh got everything uncovered you know all the uh bags and stuff i had wrapped around there got everything cleaned out so the next step pretty much um is to start removing stuff we're gonna just get this out of the way valve cover has to come off i'm gonna take this heat shield off go go on top of that i know i'm I think I know a way to like bring that back to life without having to paint it. And then this edge up here, I don't like how that looks, it's bugging me. Um, clean up this intake manifold at the top right here. At least, you know, we're going to do what you can see visually, obviously. The only way to get a full professional detail on this engine is to pull it in piece by piece, but we are not doing that. Yeah, uncovered this. You know, I blew everything out with the hose. You guys saw me foam it all like crazy. Um, but yeah, even the lid turned out so much better. I did go over stuff and wiped it with a uh, rag afterwards after I washed it. Um, so it does look better already. But I mean, these engines in general, the way they're designed, they are the busiest engines I've worked on. You have a million hoses and pipes and coolants and wiring. And I'm done washing it. 
I'm not ending the video here. I'm stopping filming today because it's already like, I don't know, 9 p.m. or something. So I don't want to start on anything else today. But we'll come back tomorrow and we're going to start removing stuff. Mainly the valve cover. I got to get that off, start cleaning it and start, you know, painting the painting process. Painting process is going to take a day on its own or two, depending on plenty of things. So, yeah, the engine is now washed. And uh, we got a lot of dirt out. There's a lot of crap under the car when I push it back in the garage under it. So I'm glad we did that. All right, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Right, so car is back outside. Um, pretty much took everything off that I wanted to clean and get painted. So I got the heat shield. This will most likely just get cleaned and scotch brighted a little bit, sand down. Um, that's getting painted. It's a strut bar, valve cover, obviously. All these pipes are getting cleaned, painted, polished. The, the this holds the throttle body on the valve cover, and this is the heat shield bracket thing. Um, so yeah, I got all my. My sandpaper, uh, scotch bright pad, I got all these drill attachments and brushes. I got water with uh, purple power. This stuff mixed in here. Pretty much gonna sit here, clean and polish and sand everything down. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna soak that in water because I don't want water getting all inside. It's not a good idea. But yeah, let's throw you guys back on the time lapse. Let's get this done. Uh, like three hours later everything's finally clean sanded and ready for paint um, we'll go over everything in a little bit yeah that took a lot of work uh, let me show you guys all right so as you can see everything that I want painted is scuffed clean brake clean like everything here this this has been scuffed a few times now even wire wheeled and I polished these letters because after I repaint it I'm gonna scrape the paint off of here so it's gonna be polished underneath so yeah, everything's taped off where I don't want. I don't want paint to seep in and stuff, so it's taped off from the bottom. It's sitting a little off the table, as you can see. It's not going anywhere. There's two by fours. Anyways, so that's all ready to go. The heat shield, I ended up uh, drilling out the rivets, taking that little plaque out, and then we'll put that later. I wire wheel the crap out of this thing. Got as much of the rust and stuff as I could off. And then these uh, intake uh, pipes and stuff. Yes, everything's hanging off my bungee cords, but it's good. This piece, it still has some surface rust, but I think we'll be okay because we're gonna use a good primer. Same with this, and then the strut bar and the other pipe. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put, put some Wayne Proof primer on everything. It's mainly, mainly for that, but I figure since everything will be around heat, we're gonna use this and it says it withstands up to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit, so 
it should be good. So let's primer everything with this. And, uh, and then literally everything is getting different types of paint. Someone's getting uh, ceramic paint. Um, this is getting regular heat paint, but different colors and stuff. Anyways, let's get this stuff primered. All right, so everything's primered. Got two, two and a half coats. You can see. Looks pretty good. Nice and even layer on everything. Um, so now I gotta move some stuff around because, for example, that's staying black. This is gonna be silver, so these can't be next to each other. So I'm gonna move whatever silver to one side or whatever's black to the other. Same with these two pieces. They're not gonna be next to each other. So we'll do that and while that happens they're gonna dry and then we can start painting. All right, so first we're gonna start with wrinkled black. So this is three heavy coats of this stuff with about five minutes between each coat. Let's paint. You guys get the idea it's coat one two and you know so i'm gonna put you back on the time lapse and we'll uh let's paint these parts Alright, you guys want to see some wrinkle? 
Look at this. Bam. Nice, even, wrinkle finish. So the reason I had the heat gun on it for a while is because I like to jump start the drying process. Obviously, don't touch. Because I've noticed in the past that if you just let it dry by itself, it takes, it takes a really long time and sometimes it doesn't wrinkle. But look at this. It's beautiful. So now I'm going to do the rest of the black parts in wrinkle. Well, dry them off, I mean. This one's obviously not going to be wrinkled because this was like a ceramic coat. So this is going to be a wrinkle black, that one, and that one. So I will get back to you guys after all is done. Let's check this thing out one more time. Obviously it's not done, but there you go. And then the letters will be scraped off. So it's gonna be nice and aluminum brushed underneath. Simple to do, three heavy coats. One this way, one this way, and one this way, and one this way, as you guys saw. And that's the results. It's gonna take about a good day to dry, but that's okay, look at that. Very nice. All right, everything is painted. Oh, I can't get over how good this looks. Anyways, everything is painted. Blacks are black. As you can see, I painted this stuff silver, these pipes. So now, I got these pieces, the brackets. And even the bar itself, you can tell, it's very nice. Nice and wrinkly. <laughs> oh yeah. So, I'm gonna end the video here because obviously this is gonna take hours and hours to dry. I'm actually gonna leave everything hanging like this uh, till tomorrow. And then, uh, yeah, the next video will be assembly. Um, since I did put so many layers of everything on, on everything, um, I definitely want to wait uh, at least 24 hours before I touch it. I know that you're usually this says you can handle it in about three hours, but why not wait? I have patience. So hope you guys like this video. Hope you like how it turned out. Um, I'm really happy with the wrinkle. And then, like I said, we'll, we'll sand the Toyota letters off and, uh, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry they're a little long, but trying to get everything done, you know, trying to put as much as I can in one video. So if you like what you see, Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, follow, watch. See you guys next time.